YouTube, your boy, Nacho Ever Chabber, back with another video. And you know the last video, it was maintenance day on the fin. Ah, <sighs> now it's maintenance day on the spark. Only got changed the front brake pads. Rotor, rotors are still good, I'm at uh, 42,000 miles, so. Brakes just started squeaking, so it's not mandatory, mandatory, where they squeak at every stop, but, you know, I'm gonna get that done, especially for the winter time, it's the snow and stuff hits, cause I'm not gonna be out here working on it, so I figured this would be the best time. Got the jack already, so. Just gonna be changing the front brakes, brake pads. Should be real simple, real easy. Already got the brake pads, you can see, Power Stop Evolution Sport, carbon fiber ceramic performance pads. Got the hardware and all that good jays, so. There you guys. About to get to it. Hey guys, got the caliber all open and new hardware is already in. Top and bottom, here are the old pads. There are the new pads, as you can see. Never pan, old hardware. You guys can see the thickness of the new joints. Old joints. See side to side, so. You weren't, you know, bare metal, but, you know, slowly getting there. Other side. So, here's the you guys, but slip these in. And yeah, real simple, real simple. I had to do it from the top for some reason, the bottom one. Oh, the top one is way easier to get out the pin, so. That's the only reason it's like this. But yeah, guys, let's go push those things back and we should be good. As I did this one the right way, the screw came off easy down bottom. So as you can see, um, on the other side, I took this one off. But not really supposed to do this because you know this is close to the brake line, so you're gonna be limited with your space. So luckily, you just take off this bottom one, which came off pretty easy. Just came up pretty easy. Out of there, just unscrew that. Gonna be like a little screwdriver, might be a little stuck. And then you finish this prize straight up, so you don't have to worry about the brake line anywhere. So now you have a whole lot more room just to work with, a lot easier just to, you know, pop these out. You can really see, they're not even, not even too bad, really. Like I'm saying, not too, too bad. You see the indicator right there. So technically still had, you feel me? Some life, technically, but I did hear a little, little bit of squeaking, but it wasn't even for me with every stop. So, I mean, I could probably say these if I'm, you know, ever down bad and really need some brakes, you know? But this one, then the other one. No real simple, guys. I ain't gonna lie, guys, you feel me? You can definitely do this yourself. All you need is pretty much just the tools, you know. This, you know, comes with pretty much every car. Flathead, 14 millimeter um, wrench or whatever. Just need a 14 millimeter just for this screw. Real simple since, you know, it's pretty much a brand new car. You ain't gotta worry about no rust or anything. So, you know, older cars, you know, it be, might be hard to get this ball out because, you know, it's rusted. Like with my Infinity, it was a little hard for me to get my some of my ball tugs, you know, they were a little rusty. It's not as easy as this. This came off like a piece of cake. So, first time changing the brakes too. Just got to press this back. So when you put the new pads in, it'll fix. You know, the pad, new pads are more thick, so the cab won't be able to go back down. But, yeah, guys, uh, it's a pretty simple job, actually. Uh, grab these brakes. So, guys, so these are the new brakes. Very thick. So, slap these in. That one now with the hardware and the, and the grease. So, yeah, guys. Slap these on. Then, front brakes will be done. Rotors are still good, very smooth. Only, you know, 40,000 miles on them, so it'll last a while. That's how I change, but they don't feel smooth, or you know, if you break at high speeds, you know, your steering wheel get the shaking. That'd be the time, you know, you need to change your rotors. So, 
they're still good just changing the brake pads for now and i have the rear drum brakes pretty sure those are good so yeah guys put these on you know brake test them you know do a few stops or whatever i guess you don't really need to see that on camera it's pretty self-explanatory but yeah guys new brake pads on the 2021 Chevy Spark, and you know these ain't no cheap pegs. <laughs> you guys already know. Oh, this is the brake test, if you guys know. I have to put them on, just gotta do that. And yeah, you know, guys, come on now. Power Step Evolution Sport Carbon Fiber Ceramic Performance Pegs. So, I'll see if it's any um any better stopping power with these over stock. And I don't know what these things are. These this didn't come with it. I don't know what those things are, but let's get this stuff. Right, yeah, literally, it's this. So, let's finish this job up. It's too late. There's a little bit of other stuff to do. But, yeah, guys, uh, pretty much till next time. Mm -hmm. Go.